Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you our new home theater PC. This is a look at it right here. I built this out of parts that I had laying around. This is temporary right here. I got a standard ATX power supply sitting outside. This is a micro ATX form factor case. I'm waiting on the power supply I want to get in stock, so this is really this is a temporary hookup. Take a look inside the computer here. I'll go ahead and give you a little overview. The motherboard was actually pulled from a 2006 model HP Pavilion computer system. And it has the ATI Radeon Express 200 chipset with an AMD Athlon 64 3400 plus socket 939 CPU along with 1.5 gigs of memory. Right here we have an older Radeon X550 graphics card and we have a WinTV PVR250 TV tuner this is also one of my parts laying around we have a wireless G desktop card so we're going to have to run an ethernet cord from here to the switch over there and here we have a DVD ROM drive And here is the hard drive. It's a one, currently a 160 gig Western Digital. And his, this here is the card reader. The computer itself runs Windows Vista Home Premium with Windows Media Center. The case itself, not even sure exactly what model it is. It's an older case from like 2002. You can pretty much call this a recycled case because. It did have an old Tommy Pentium 4 business computer set up, but now it's a home theater system. When you're building home theater systems, it's good to have a small form factor case. Of course, it looks better with everything else. And the three big components in a home theater system that make it stand out from a standard computer are your TV tuner your video card as well as your remote which a motherboard in this computer was actually the, the computer was pulled from was favored in for as a media center PC it is like the TV tuner it was a pretty sweet board it had decent integrated graphics in terms of outputs that you could hook it straight up to a TV no problem and I have this slot core to help dissipate the heat. You would think the heat more heat's over here where the CPU's at. But actually, most heat in the computer's over here. And we have the graphics card runs a bit warm as well as a TV tuner. I can put my hand right here and feel the air coming out of this side. It's cool, yet over here the air is quite warm. The one big thing that makes a media center PC stand out when you run on your TV is that it gives you a lot of features for free basically you have your own DVR you have a guide as well as a DVD player we was using this cable box here to have a guide and everything this is Time Warner Digital Cable but now all we need is this and way back there is a DV player that's no longer needed because we have a media center PC on the TV. Do a little quick shot of Windows Media Center. Of course the TV is muted right now. This is the remote control. Just to show you here. The remotes will vary. From here to top you have your your play buttons, all that kind of stuff for playing videos and stuff in Media Center your navigation buttons, your channel and volume buttons, more navigation buttons for like the guide and stuff like that, your numerical keypad with letters, you want to type something to search something, you just type it in like your text on a cell phone. And you have a clear button as well as your enter button, which that's actually can also be used as a view like your last channel and stuff. Your little view of media center here in the main menu. This is Windows Vista's Media Center. Windows XP and Windows 7 will vary a bit. Go ahead and stop the TV in the background and get a better view here. Of 
course you have your TV tab here. Your pictures and videos as well as your music. As well as your task in online media and sports. Lots of features here. Do a little quick overview of the TV. Of course here's your guide which is updated over the internet. And if you want to record a TV show you just find a show you want to record and there's your options you can record a single show or record the whole series and you can do an advanced record and there's other showings you can find different showings of a certain series here's of course where you go live TV go ahead and unmute it this will show you a little something with the volume features that can use the body as the food. Go mute it back. As you see, by default, Windows Media Center has closed captioning. Find this pretty neat. And another cool feature about Media Center. Sounds pretty good. Just pause live TV. Rewind. The theory that this monster has. And of course here, I'm not sure you can see that little red button, that's where you hit your instantly start recording a TV show. Here is the recorded TV menu, which there was a Episode of V recorded last night, as you can see here. Pretty neat setup. I'll be doing a more in depth video about Windows Media Center in a later video. Any questions, let me know.